and cruising of the former Anambra State Governor Chief Willie Obiano by the Economic and Corrupt Crimes Commission EFCC over allegations of 42 billion misappropriation has drawn the anger of people in the state who have concluded arrangements to storm the headquarters of the body next week seeking release of the former governor similarly they are instituting a litigation of the federal high court in oka challenging the powers of the anti graft body to prosecute obiano contending that the body lacks the lucas to do so addressing reports in oka yesterday the leader of Anambra a Integrity Forum, who gave a name as Mrs. Neka Wankonye, said that the former governor has been set up by his political opponents, who are envious of his eight years uh, tenure achievement while in office. What is happening today is more of sheer envy and pity, je petty jealous jealousy by his political opponent who saw him as one that cannot deliver as governor and to their disappointment he ended up stronger obiano did not own salary neither did he embezzle public funds all his projects were executed without borrowing a cobra from any bank and these are the anger of these 50 colonies they never believed that the airport project would be completed as well as the international convention center and other projects that he executed so they choose to rubbish him it is a record that obiano is a prudent man and accounted for every penny that is spent while in office and the records are there to show we shall be at the headquarters of the EFCC in our numbers sometime next week to seek for the release of our brother and we have assembled a team of lawyers to file a matter of the federal, at the federal high court Oka, to question the powers of EFCC to arrest and detain him. We are privy to the Supreme Court's judgment last year November which ruled that the EFCC lacks the powers to prosecute a state governor because, according to the judgment, the anti-corruption body is the making of the federal government and the body can only prosecute financial matters that hard to weigh the federal establishment and not the state. The judgment before us also ruled that it is only the state house of assembly that can perform that function or a petition from the current administration of Governor Charles Soludo and the police would carry out its duties as provided by the Constitution. Even the EFCC is not represented in the Constitution of Nigeria, hence the actions of the agency is unconstitutional and of no effect. Be it known to all and sundry that some people are playing politics with the sensibility of Anambra people and we in the state are not only knowledgeable enough to understand this but also well informed about their plans or these people whose talk in trade has always been to overheat the polity she added meanwhile over 70 President generals of the communities in Anambra State are currently meeting over the arrest of Obiano and will soon come up with resolution on the matter. According to a source at the meeting who pleaded a new meeting, we are meeting and this is our second meeting and we are assembling signatories across the state to put up a resolution on the arrest of the former governor. If not for anything, the, the three choose your project scheme that he executed in all the communities in Anambra should also be a moral burden before these communities. And again, his administrative ability that has imparted on the development of our rural areas. Very soon, you, you your members of the press 
you members of press would be informed adequately on our stand on this matter, he noted. They should leave him alone. They should go and arrest Tinubu that holds billion van openly entered his compound, this useless EFCC. Upon embezzlement, Obiano embezzled Anambra state money. Some people are still, still have marks to protest. Why EFC arrested Obiano is not a shame at all. Okay, that is just a uh, uh, reaction, okay, by Nigerians who have reacted to this. The arrest and the prison of the former Anambra State Governor Chief Willie Obiano body by the Economic and Corrupt Crimes Commission EFCC over allegations of 42 billion naira misappropriation has drawn the anger of the people in the state who have concluded arrangement to storm the headquarters of the body next week seeking release of the former governor, Governor Obiano. Similarly, they are instituting a litigation at the Federal High Court in Oka, challenging the powers of the anti-graft body to prosecute Obiano, contending that the body lacks the locus to do so. Addressing reports in Oka yesterday, the leader of Anambra Integrity Forum, who gave her name as Mrs. Nne Kangwan Konye, said that the former governor has been his has been set up by his political opponent who are envious of his eight year you know achievements while in office according to her what is happening today is more of sheer envy and petty jealousy by his political opponent who saw him as one that cannot deliver as governor and to their disappointment he ended up stronger okay guys I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye for now.